Are these bathroom gadgets noteworthy or flushworthy? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Ask me what I would enjoy most. Sawing my arm off with a dull soup spoon, watching Trolls World Tour on a 24 hour loop, or cleaning my toilet. Okay, ask you that? All right. Yeah. Uh, would you would you rather spoon your arm off, go on a troll ward, world tour, ward tour, well, or uh, clean your toilet? It's not really going on a tour; it's just watching it, which I guess is sort of the same thing. But bottom line is, I would be fine with spooning my, off my arm. <laughs> you you yeah. hate cleaning toilets yeah. that bad? I do. I mean, I don't mind cleaning the toilet, but I'm pretty excited about testing a robot that's gonna do it for me. Today. That's right, today we're testing high-tech bathroom products that claim to make the old school ways of doing whatever you do in your bathroom, it's your business, obsolete. But do they really? It's time for New Tool or Old School Bathroom Edition. We're gonna test a series of bathroom activity related gadgets and compare them against the traditional old timey way of getting that same thing done. And then we're gonna decide if you should go with that new tool or if you should stay old school. Do you understand? I do. Over the past year, we've spent a whole lot of time with the people that we live with, and it's been great. Oh yeah. Really great, mm -hmm. like constantly great. Always. But I imagine it's been even better for those with inconvenient hair and hard to reach places because that's what family's for, y'all. Shaving back hair. Yeah, speaking of back hair. <laughs> You didn't think we just put these brown scrubs on for nothing, did you? We've got shirts with uh, heart-shaped back hair in the hardest to reach place. And look what I've got right here. This is the Man Groomer Pro Shave, well, but it's actually called the Man Groomer Pro Back Shaver. And <laughs> it's not that complicated. Unfurl that puppy. Okay, this thing is designed oh my gosh. to, uh, you know, Okay. Get your uh, your deal going here. And look so, what I got here. I just got a regular razor. Now, this thing fully extends. Woo! Depends on how big your back is. And uh, it's got a power how button. How short of your arms are. And it's got a power boost button. And uh, this thing costs $50 on Amazon. So I'm just gonna see it here. Hold on, before you start, we're gonna we're gonna compare it to this. Oh yeah, at right. The same you, time. You, you've got to do that. So don't, don't forget about but, me. But I can't do this to myself. You're Again, gonna have to get somebody. To this shave is what your back. a loved one is is for. That's oh. why I'm here. Hi, Stevie. The one that usually <laughs> shaves your back. I just called you a loved one. Do you have any uh, experience after all, after with this? shaving men's backs? All the time, <laughs> you know. Okay, so like, like a side job in college or something? So we, um, don't answer that. <laughs> we are the team old school. We're the hair boys. Is that what you were introducing And you're us? team new school. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have nothing to do with us. No, please, I, but I've got hair. Please use caution when you're flinging that thing back You don't here. need to like cut your hair. Whoa, like, no. <laughs> all right, Stevie, shave my back. I'm I'm going. Lather it up, we're, we're falling behind. Is this a speed? How am I doing? Oh great, it's like sprinkling hairs onto my yeah, sweatshirt. Yeah, so it's like, it's basically like clippers. It's totally like working. Race. Okay, this is absolutely disgusting. Power boost. Just shave my back, Stevie. Okay, I'm, ew! If you, oh. if you needed another data point to confirm your lesbianism, I think that's probably <laughs> it. Here, lean, lean, um, like straighten your back up a little bit. I do not feel as if this is going well, Link. I'm uh, sorry to say. It feels good to me, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, you know, I don't really have a hairy back, but um, there's something about the bonding that takes place when, you know. Wow. Look at, okay. Look what I did over here, Link. What? So, this is interesting. You didn't get it like down to a clean shave, but you got it to a buzzer shave. This is just disgusting. Like what is happening? Well, typically what you do when you have that In much this. hair is you you take something like this and you go you go you get it down like Oh, let that, me shave. And then you shave that. Let me shave your shave. So we've determined that it 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 doesn't help. Well, now I have shaving cream. Cuz now you got to go back. You're saying you got to go and shave the no, After the no, no. groomer? It depends on, you can only get so close with this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, in fact, let me just demonstrate it on some hair on the front side here. A lot of the reviews complain that it scratches the skin, so I do wanna see if it looks like a cat has attacked you. I had to go over a few times. I mean, I, I had to go over it a few times. Does it hurt? It did, no, it doesn't hurt at all. I, I don't like that patch of hair there anyway. Oh, I can, I can get take rid care of that. that. Let me go full, full boost. Guys. I think my job here is done. 
I think if I stay no, here any longer, you, no, you're you going to shave me. Do it. You should stick around and for I this. And I do not want... I do not possess the same amount of hair on my arm. It doesn't leave a clean spot. It leaves a lot of stubble. Okay, so... I regret doing what I did. Okay, Stevie, thank you for your help. Thank you. Uh, you can take the razor with you. The stubble. Okay. You can use it. Um, so, I don't know, man. I think that... I mean, I think there's something intimate about getting somebody to shave your back. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> and it's, it's a much closer you shave. Know? Why say no to that? Well, <laughs> why say no to that when you can say no to that? Which yeah. is what we're gonna do. We're saying, stick with the old, old school. school. Before we move on, we wanna remind you to check out the Ear Biscuits channel, that's our podcast. Listen, we got a podcast you can get where you get podcasts, but we also put it on YouTube at the Ear Biscuits channel. Check it out. We talk about our lives. It's personal. Oh my goodness. It gets deep. All right, you want me to get personal and deep right now? Yep. All right, then I'm gonna talk to you about blackheads. Okay, do it. I got some I blackheads on my nose. Uh, I, I've noticed you've had some on your nose occasionally. Okay. I actually try not to get that close to you, so. I'm just joking, I haven't noticed. I got this new tool here that is supposed to suck the blackheads right off of your face. I'm glad that you're doing that and uh, I'm not because I'm nervous about this. I'm gonna go old school with the Biore. I mean, I mean, I remember getting these like in college. This I, I remember when this school. was new school. Wait, you guys did these in college? The Biore strips? Old school, girl. <laughs> I mean, every weekend. Like in your dorm room, you were uh, like, no, Doing it? I was familiar with them, but no, I would. I went really old school, and I would just smash my nose to smithereens, and the whole thing would bruise up. Which, based on the reviews I'm reading, this thing will give you face hickeys all over the place if you don't watch out. So I'm gonna let you get started with this thing. It takes approximately ten minutes before you can rip them off anyway, and then I will break into this thing. It costs twenty six dollars, and it has one, two, three, four. Five, six suction levels. I'm gonna start on one Get it nice because and wet. I am nervous when I read reviews like it did not work for me at all, but did leave deep, dark bruises for a few days, yeah. streaks across my face. I do not recommend this product. Thank goodness I work from home, or else I would be livid. Yeah, thank goodness you work from home, Link. <laughs> okay, here we go with this one. Yeah, just throw it on there. Oh well, yeah, you kind of. I'm overhanging a little That's bit. Fine. That's now fine. Now throw one it'll, up there. It'll still get the job done. I, I'm gonna kick in the gear here. Level one. I just, okay, that's not That's not doing anything. I gotta go higher. Yeah, you don't. Level two. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh! Oh. Look what it's doing to your nose! And it's stuff going in there? Right here on the. It's, uh, it's the ridge is a little bit too. Oh, right there on the end? Oh, oh God. I just, do you feel like something's coming out? Why don't you just leave it on there for about 20 seconds? Is it? See what happens. Is any juice coming out? Oh, 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 yeah. How do you know if it's working? Side? Oh, it's working. It's sucking, I can tell you that. I think it's just putting your face in this. <sighs> okay. So they don't suggest to keep it in one place and just pull like you're doing? Up here. Oh, it is really, it really sucks. Is this on high power? No, this is level two, my oh, friend. Oh, go, go all the way. It actually hurts, I'm not going higher than two. I just don't think I have any blackheads. Oh. Oh, wow, man, you got some loose skin. When you got over here, it got really loose. Go to the side, you might need to get that looked at. <laughs> oh, man, look how loose that is I over sucked there. the brain out the side oh, of my head. Don't right. get too close to the temple, that can kill you. All right, let's wait until yours is ready. All right. Uh, now, I, I've sucked a number of places on my face, and I'm just not getting residue, but I just think that we are not in the, the blackhead demographic. Okay, well, we're gonna find out right here. The last step of this is slowly and carefully peel off, starting at the edges. That's not how we did it in college. We did it like a magic trick. But I'm doing it slow, because... Uh... And then you look at it and see if there's any towers. First of all, in the middle, it, there's nothing, but on right, the... Uh, right down the edge. There's some little ones here. Okay, okay. I take a lot better care of my skin than I did when I was 19 years old. So I see a little, a little bit of stuff on there, but there's again, not, there's not a lot. So there's there's not a lot for us to go on here. I mean, this, the suction is definitely real. But yeah, if you want something to just suck um, on your face and places, a couple of different little places, 
Like a little and this leech. Is, this is the thing then for that's, you. That, you should pay they should for call that. it the leech. The little leech. But if you want to get rid of blackheads and stuff that's gotten into your pores. Without bruising your face. I think you gotta go old, old school. school. Now that everybody's home all the time, using the bathroom over and over and over again, cleaning the toilet has become a dangerous job. But luckily, Goodell, the toilet cleaning robot, claims to be a hands-free cleaner, quicker alternative to that dreaded chore. And based on this actual photo from the Amazon page, that must be true. Look how happy that couple is. Yeah, they, they've been through it all together with their robot toilet cleaner by their side. It looks like he's sitting on the couch with them. I have a lot of questions about this couple and the setup of their bathroom and why there's a white couch next to a very large and very elevated toilet. But you know what? Maybe it's just a composited picture. Okay, this thing costs three hundred dollars, and I am, I am, I am very <laughs> suspicious of it. Okay, but it oh looks my gosh, doesn't it? What on earth? Yeah, I had a wild night. <laughs> and then you came here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of come around because you still do the toilet cleaner. Uh huh. And right. then hand that to me because I'm gonna do old school. <laughs> oh goodness. I also had a wild night. Yeah, we ate at the same restaurant. Get, get down next now, to it. I want to show you. Just real hunker down. You gotta see what's happening here though. Because they give you this connective piece that goes between your toilet and the seat that then oh, creates yeah? a place for you to just insert this thing. You, you practiced it. Just like that. Okay. Now, now I will observe, you had to get really close to all this stuff. You might as well just clean the toilet. Oh, I haven't touched it. I, haven't, I don't have to have gloves. And then I hit the power button. And then oh, I hit a... the play button and stand back. You just poked him in the eye. Oh, <laughs> he's excited. <laughs> oh, he's oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Maybe is that a, another eyeball? Is that a good sound? Does that mean I'm getting ready to clean? I think... Just watch me. <laughs> In a second, I'm gonna clean. No, and I you'll think... realize why you spent $300 on me. I'm getting ready to clean. You spent $300 on me. I think it has determined that the toilet is too dirty. Okay, we realized that we think what might be going on is there's not enough water. It dipped its dipstick down and was like, ooh, there's no water. So we're gonna, okay, into the toilet would be helpful. How's that? Let's try that. That's good. Now, ready? So this is the outside. Yeah. And then this is the inside. Uh. Okay, we just realized you have to put water inside of the robot. So, so far it's all user error. Now it has what it needs. Yes. Let's do the real deal. Come on! Do it. You've seen this act before. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now we're on to new territory. Come on! We tried to troubleshoot this thing. We've been on the internet. We were gonna call customer support, but they've already closed. We're not angry. No, we're point. not angry. I'm not frustrated. Link, why don't you just clean a toilet? I know you like to do it. You, you've been wanting to do that anyway. You know, your special technique and your gloves and all that. I know that. you're trying to cheer me up, but the only thing that's gonna do that is a little tune from our broken robot. Oh, really? I can provide that. Yeah. It has to go through its thing first before it can drop a beat. It's like one of those DJs. <laughs> and? Uh, eh, uh, eh. Look at me, look at me, cleaning the toilet. I'm so reliable. I'm human. I'm a, a reliable human. A human. A I'm getting the dookie off the side of the toilet because I'm a human. Well, how does this happen, by the way? If that thing's not going to clean it, neither am I. We're going old school, like we always do. We don't need to spend $300 on a special DJ robot that makes a little beat that nobody cares about. Now, listen, we're not speaking on behalf of this product in general. We just are speaking on the behalf of the individual one that we received. <laughs> it could be great, but ours sucks. But hey, it looks like we got a queen sweep all across the board. Yeah, it's old school all the way. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. So you want to change the color of your hair and you're not 
sure how to do it. And this is Nick from Flint, Michigan, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Was that he, his he, hair? He spattered changed? hair dye all over his. Uh, right. And yeah. so, but now his hair is black. He also had a post note that says something about investment portfolio. Got it, got it. Investment <laughs> portfolio. Okay, click the top link to watch it. Hey, us. if you're going to show it to us, we're going to read it. Try to create some pretty crazy toilet paper origami and good mythical moments. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Add some scientific magic to your mythical mug collection with the GMM heat activated mug. Available now at mythical.com.